Hello guys, hello everyone. Guys, we have three more people who appear to be free of HIV after receiving stem cell transplants for cancer treatment from donors and this makes them resistant to HIV. Guys, in my last video called People Cured of HIV, I mentioned seven people. If you've missed it, please go watch it. I've linked it. The eighth person to be cured of HIV is called the French patient or the Marseille patient. She is the second woman to be cured of HIV, is from France and is in her mid-50s. Her name is not yet disclosed. She was diagnosed of HIV in 1999 and in 2010 she achieved an undetectable viral load. In 2020, she received a stem cell transplant to treat AML, which is the acute myeloid leukemia, which was diagnosed in February that year. Researchers monitored her for months, but they were unable to find the HIV DNA or RNA in her blood and in her CD4 cells. She stopped taking ART in October 2023, and she has maintained an undetectable viral load. The ninth person to be cured of HIV is a 67-year-old man called the Chicago patient. He has been living with HIV for 14 years when he was diagnosed with AML. After receiving stem cell transplants, he stopped taking ARVs. However, he initially experienced viral rebound, that is the increase of viral load. And then after two years back on ART, he attempted his second treatment interruption, that is he stopped taking his ARVs. He has remained in remission with no signs of HIV for over 10 months after stopping ARVs for the second time. This is the first known case of sustained remission after viral rebound during an initial treatment interruption following stem cell transplantation. This case shows us that remission is possible even if the virus rebounds. The 10th person to be cured of HIV is a 58-year-old man called the Oslo patient. He had been living with HIV for over 14 years before he was diagnosed with myeloid plastic syndrome, which is a precursor to AML. He received stem cell transplants from his brother and has remained in remission with undetectable viral load for over two years after stopping ARVs. No HIV DNA was found in his blood or gut. Testing has showed that the donor cells have completely replaced his immune system. Guys, we currently have 10 documented people who have been cured of HIV through stem cell transplants. Stem cell transplantation is too risky for people without advanced cancer and it cannot be scalable to 39 people who are living with HIV globally. However, these results are still groundbreaking findings. They bring us one step closer towards finding cure for HIV. Each of these cases offers clues that could help scientists to build knowledge about how cure could be achieved. Researchers are still trying to find out why these 10 people have been cured of HIV with stem cell transplants whilst other attempts have failed. And they are actively exploring other avenues such as vaccines, gene therapy and different drug approaches to develop more accessible treatments and potential cure. Hopefully, we will get a breakthrough very soon and find cure for everyone. I love you guys. Until we find cure for HIV, please continue to keep safe and stay safe. And please don't forget to subscribe. Goodbye.